So, Rick, this is the last granite fabrication shop in Westerly. Yes, Camoli Granite is. I'm a fourth generation granite cutter, and Camoli Granite has been around since 1986. So, Jen, here we have a piece of the Westerly Pink Coarse Granite that we're going to use for the seven steps going up to the main landing. Okay. This, this slab right here is about six foot long, so we're going to try to get two steps out of it. 32 inches in depth by about 42 inches in length. So we'll utilize every inch. We're going to use every inch of this stone. All right, Jen, the cut is finished. And as you can see down here, it's a precise cut, nice and smooth, straight wow, as an it's arrow. Just Super smooth. So now we're gonna do the rock face technique, right? Now we're gonna do a teach you how to do the live edge. All right, let's let's. I cannot wait to do that. I mean, it's a beautiful clean cut, but I want to get the the chisel effect. All right, let's do it. All right. Nice. That's satisfying. Go a more. Slide it this way so we can get more of the bite. Yeah. Now we're uh, going back to the line. This is the top of the step. We're going to finish it right back to the line with the chipper. All right, so this so this will be the tread surface when you walk up. So this this needs to be clean so no one's shoe catches on it. You right? got it. We're going right. to hit it with the chipper. Then we're going to take a little uh, pumice wheel and just take off the sharp edge by hand. OK. Yeah, this is definitely sharp. How are we going to trim that down? What we have here, Jen, is a pumice stone. That's going to get rid of that sharp edge you just felt from before. So take it on the edge, kind of go in a circular motion all the way down. And as you can see, when I'm done, it's knocking that sharp razor-like edge is going to be off of there. We're just rounding it off very slightly. Now feel that now. Do you, does it feel a lot smoother? There's no jags. It's just, yeah, yep. that works perfect. So we just have to rock face these two sides. This is the first finished edge and six more to go. Sounds good. I look forward to getting them set. All right, thank you. And the way we install these steps is we dig out the native earth. We backfill with gravel. We compact that gravel. We add a little sand so that we can shim the bottom, get the pitch correct set the first step. So now that we're ready to install the second step, we're gonna use this contraption here. This is a vacuum lift. Um, it's a new way that we use to install heavy steps like this instead of the old way, which would have been to use a couple of slings. And what happens is this is connected to our excavator and we swing it into place almost like a crane um, and set it down. Now it uses a vacuum suction system. And if there's a problem with the stone or it needs some kind of adjustment, we can very easily pick it back up add a little more sand, level it out, set it back down. I have a question. So you said mm -hmm. the, the stone pieces are about five, 600 pounds? Yeah, when they were delivered, um, they said they were each were about 600 pounds. OK. So how many pounds does this one lift? So this particular unit will lift 1,400 pounds. So we're well oh, within okay. uh, the range. This is a lot safer, too, because no one's going to have their fingers underneath the stone as we're pulling straps out like we used to. OK, and that looks perfect. Great, thank you. It's deep enough that it's comfortable, but it's not too much because you want the right cadence okay. walking up the step. So you want to give it a shot? Sure. That's yeah, perfect. It's more of a relaxed entry, informal entryway. Mm -hmm. So we had to do from point A to point B. The slope also dictated the length that we had to stretch it to. Right. So, and you wanted westerly granite. We did. I absolutely love these. Yeah, so I am excited about this, and the front's going to look great. So let's keep on going. Sounds good to me. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.